Discerning Hearts presents How to Pray, a Practical Guide to the Spiritual Life by David Torkington. In this chapter, David reflects on asceticism for all. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things shall be yours as well. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. In the light of what I've been saying in my previous little talks, asceticism for the beginner then is quite simple. Don't give up anything you like or enjoy, except when it prevents you from giving daily quality time to God in prayer each day. If you think it's easy, then try it and try to stick to it, and you'll soon find it's not quite so easy as you thought. Don't let first enthusiasm fool you into heroics that you will never sustain. Now, when you've persevered for long enough, you will gradually begin to receive and then experience the love that will enable you to do what is quite impossible without it. When a person falls in love and begins to experience being loved, then there's nothing that they wouldn't do or any sacrifice that they would not make for their lover. In fact, they positively look for things to do. The harder and the more exacting, the better, to enable them to show the real quality of their love. What was impossible to self-centered egotists only a short time before becomes not only easy, but also their greatest pleasure. It's exactly the same with the spiritual life. The exemplary behavior, the extraordinary self-discipline and the heroic sacrifices made by a person who begins to experience the love of God are not the result of an arrogant stoic trying to make themselves perfect. They are the actions of someone desperate to express their love in behavior that could not be maintained for long without the love that sustains it. All the little pleasures and pastimes that were thought indispensable before suddenly become dispensable, and with the greatest of ease. Virtues that were noticeable by their absence before are born of the love that envelops them. You see, when the love of God strikes a human heart, it strikes it as a simple ray of light strikes a prism. Just as that light is then diffused and transformed into all the colors of the spectrum, so the love of God is diffused and transformed into all the virtues and the gifts that are needed as the believer seeks to acquire them. In short, first seek God and His kingdom, which is love, and everything else you want or desire will be given to you. You've been listening to David Torkington and How to Pray, a Practical Guide to the Spiritual Life. For more episodes in this series, visit DiscerningHearts.com or you can find it in our free Discerning Hearts app or on many other streaming platforms.